What's up guys and welcome to another video from CodeReview.io In this video we will talk about the alternate icons We will build the app where we can actually change the icon in the app itself So for example if we open the app and then we choose the dark icon and then go to the background Then we will see the, the app has been changed So let's get started I would like to apologize for, uh, to all of you because uh, I didn't upload recently because I have some changes in my life I moved to another apartment and then I uh, took a time also to rest uh, I had some issues and sick leave so we will start by building the new flutter app so we will start by building new flutter app uh, here in the uh, main what we need to do is that first uh, we need to apply for a couple uh, uh, icons so you need to bring your icons beforehand so for example i created the assets here and put the images inside it i have two images that i need and here uh what uh, we need to do is go to pop spike yaml and then we need to apply uh to uncomment this and put your uh the correct path to the image in the main dart uh we will start by the new boilerplate of a flutter so we just use it the same and the only changes that we will do is that inside my home page and actually my home page will have the, the title here is not really important so what we start first we will start creating a channel uh, a channel it's uh, ability to uh, communicate with the native code in ios and by the way here is the code uh, as i mentioned maybe in the description this is only works in ios because it's only supported in ios and uh, it seems for android there is a workaround but not officially supported in android until then yeah i don't know if this is gonna be supported later or not but uh, yeah so we start by creating a channel a method channel let's say and the method channel normally goes uh, as uh, by your app name or your package app name and that's can, you can find it in the iOS or in the Android you can find the package name it depends on your um, uh, on your name that you will define and then you can uh, add slash with a change icon it's important here that you will refer to this later in the native code and then after that uh, we will define our uh, our uh, let's say our list items uh, we'll bring the list tile here and then we'll put the light and then we bring the image assets with the light image and since we are using the same method we can send uh, we can make a separate uh, function to handle this together with the context and you can do also a for loop here if you have multiple icons that you will add for now i will add only two and uh, the default one and also the which the default one is the light and then the dark one and here in the tab when we tab actually we go with the selected icon and what we will try to do is bring the change icon channel and we invoke the method and here it's very important that you uh, define is that this one is a change icon and the second thing is that or the second argument is actually the the parameters that you need to send and here you will send a map of uh, any parameters so here i will define it as a selected icon and then i pass it as a selected icon here uh, to the native code so that's uh, totally is it from the flutter uh, flutter side uh, and then if we go to the native side so what you can do is actually just to click here and then open in xcode and that will bring uh, the xcode here what we need to do is that we need to first of all we go to the assets you will see mostly here that there is an app icon so you can remove that one because we don't need it and we don't need actually the link to that one the second thing is that you could create uh, i mean you could put it here but i did uh, create a directory called app icons and i have two dark and the light are icons here third thing that you need to go is that for the info p list uh, and here i will open it as a, a source code uh, the only thing that you need to add is actually this one it's uh, which is defined that uh, that you will using the bundle alternate icons and you will define the dark icon and then uh, as a name so it's the same it should be same here and then you will define also that uh, what is the primary icon and uh, as we discussed that this one will be the light icon 
so you can define this one here now if you have multiple icons and you want to define it more you just need to copy yeah well actually you can copy all of this to to and paste it with another icon for example if you go with uh, i don't know something like this and you just say uh, for example green uh, or any icon that you will want to use that is it now what you need to do is also go and click on the runner and what you need to go to go to uh, sign and capabilities i guess here you will see that uh, for example I, I use the com example but you can define as this one as an io uh, for example io uh, code review but it's still uh, it's it needs to be aligned it's better to be aligned and then i will go to general and then we will try to here under general you will have the app icons and the launch images here you will see that normally that if you click here there is two choices uh, and then what you need to do is just select that you want to use asset catalogs so that's uh, mostly the configuration now you need to, to go to uh, app delegate here we will handle the method the channel method and then we just need to send um, to send uh, the selected icon actually so inside the Flutter uh, app delegates here, inside the class, uh, you need to uh, bring the method channel name. And as I said, this one is the channel name. So you, as you can see that this is not really linked to your project, but it's better to be linked and it's better to be aligned here. I did it this in purpose uh, to show you also that, uh, that you can build a dead fire or the package name is not really linked to the to your uh, method but this is it's uh, it's better to to have uh, this one aligned uh okay so here we have the change icon this is the method channel name and we create uh, just a variable and then we ask to ch a change icon to set method call handler here this will have a callback which uh, with uh, bring the flutter method call with the results and here we can actually do a switch on the method so whenever we have a change icon we need to bring the old arguments from this change icon here i define the arguments as a type of map string string uh, here just to because it's uh, by default is type of any and we will ask for the selected icon from this type and then we will ask to uh, check the methods change icon and by calling self ch change icon with the icon name and by default we just return that the result is flutter is uh, method is not implemented here uh, so that much is it for this uh, method now we go to the change icon we know that the change icon will come here we still not really sure so it's better to put a string with optional the type is returned of void and uh, i know it, this one uh, seems a bit uh, i mean strange for you but this is the swift code and um, it's kind of like uh, the same as a dart or as a i mean as a type script here we will ask if uh, if the ios is more than 10 so if we will ask if the, the set alternate icons or the alternate icons is available then we can call the set alternate icon with the icon name and that will give us a callback to handle the error in case of there is no if there is an error that will be thrown and here we can print the error with the with the localized and the same will be asking for so actually is that uh, i did this uh, so we did the print the reason uh, for the error but we i also reset the this is actually resetting so uh let me put this one here so this is actually resetting it means that we set the alternate icon to uh, to uh, nil it means that this one uh, will take the default which is the light uh, icon in case of any other problems that we will just uh, uh, or maybe if this one successful we would just ask that to the change icon successfully has been done and i think that's it so now we have the icon and then we will just click here and we have the light icon we go with the dark and then we have the dark icon light icon and you can see that, that the pop-up that is showing that's uh, uh, by ios natively be handled uh, I'm not really sure if you can translate this, but uh, it seems that this this one cannot be translated. So it's because it's uh, from the native Swift code. 
uh, and then also the pop-up you cannot uh, actually uh, uh, dismiss this pop-up or you try to uh, not to show this pop-up uh, that's it uh, that much is it here I will have a challenge for you if the any of the icon is active I want to highlight this list item uh, for example you could put a uh, color or any uh, type but it's better to tell the user that uh, which one is that the selected and which one uh, is gonna be not I mean is not selected and also this one it's also better to tell the user that uh, you cannot select it the one that you already selected so this is a challenge for you you need to uh, bring this uh, from the native code and then you can use it here uh, and to give you just uh, some hints here you can use I will bring it here so you can use UI application and then share it and you can go with alternate icon name this is actually the that the method you can use and you can uh, yeah you can just uh, expose this function to the flutter code I think that's it uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share and see you in the next time Thank you.